Hi students, good morning third grade. Yeah, I'm Amanda and today we're going to see a new lesson. Yes, lesson number three, safe again. So this lesson is based on these birds. So this bird is a kestrel. Or the other name for this bird is a wind over. Now we are going to see the story of these birds. These are some clear pictures for you to see how the bird looks and how they fly in the sky. A window was a small hunting bird. So this bird is a small hunting bird. Some of us call it Windhover and some of us call it a Kestrel. Most of the time the bird just hovers. It stays in the hair and flaps its wing without moving forward. Here a Windhover tells its story. So when you look at the picture on top, right on top at the, at the corner, look at the bird. He flies up right into the sky. He keeps flapping his wings, but he never moves from one place to the other. He stays in the same place without moving forward and he just keeps flapping its wings. Now the wind over here in this lesson tells us the story of his life. Let's see what the wind over tells us. So the wind over says, When I open my eyes, the sky is the first thing I see. And the wind is the first thing I feel. So what did he see when he came out of his shell? Yes. He, when he came out of his shell and he opened his eyes, the first thing he seen was the sky. And the second thing that he felt was the wind, the chill breeze that was on his feathers. I hear chipping from the eggs close to my own broken shell. A pointed beak burst through. There is more chipping and I see a tiny pale head. A chick struggles out of its shell and then another. Wow, they are my brother and sister. Look at the bird. It's, he comes out of his shell and then he looks at this brother and sister's egg. And look at the shell. It chips into bits and a small chick comes out of the egg. And similarly, follows with the other egg. So it chips and its brother and sister comes out of the egg. Our mother and father brings us mice as fast as they catch them. We eat them and grow fast, but I grow the fastest. We live in the old, in the wall of a school. Now look at the picture. So this is a school and there was an old in that wall. And there was the kestrel's nest. And the baby kestrels were in that nest. And the other side you see the kestrel's mother and father. So they fly. They, they are birds. They are hunting birds. So they fly to different places and... As fast as they can, they catch a mice and they bring it to the baby's nest and they shred it and they feed their little babies. So this is the nest where the kestrel lives and this is the mother. They bring them a, it brings a mice to feed its babies. We stretch our wings and flap them just like our parents do. So what does the parent do? Yes, they fly right up to the sky and they go, they just flap their wings but they do not move forward or backward. The same, 
the kestrels the baby kestrels they sit in the nest in the same place and they just keep flapping their wings the children in the playground are now looking up and pointing at us they are saying look at the baby windowers look at their fluffy feathers so the children are so excited to see a nest with little baby windowers they are so excited that they point their fingers to the nest and they enjoy the beautiness and the fluffiness of the little windowers yeah one evening after school i hear a sound of footsteps coming towards us we shuffle to the back of the roost so what happens suddenly one day an evening they hear a lot of footsteps so whose footsteps were they yes it was the footsteps of their of the children because the nest of these windowers was in the school wall so in the evening when the children were moving back to, going back to their home they hear the footsteps of the children and they shuffle to the back of the roost roost so they were so scared so that they started moving towards the back of the nest we see a dark shape over us and we screech ki ki this is not a mother so they are so scared of their shape so they start making lots and lots of noise and they say that is not their mother and they move back this creature does not smell like birds i peck it and strike it with my claws so the bird thinks that the humans are creatures and they said they feel that they are not birds they are different they are not birds so they tried to peck they tried to peck and they tried to strike them with their claws so with the beak they tried to hurt them and they tried to scratch them with their claws the creature makes a strange noise and holds me tight so one of the child he takes a kestrel they make a loud noise and he holds the kestrel tight in his hand i am bundled into a sack and taken from my home so he takes it from the nest he puts it into a sack and he takes the kestrel to his home he takes the kestrel from the guest from its home to his home after a while someone opens the sack i am dazzled by the light i try to fly but crash into strong bars and fall in a cloud of feathers so after some time when the sack was open this kestrel seeing the bright light he felt that he's come back to his home to his nest but when he tried to fly he crashed into a strong bar and he fell down and all his feathers were scattered so what was that bar yes the student who took him the boy who took him put him in a cage so whenever he tried to fly he hurt himself on the cage on the bars of the cage and he fell into the cage where is my home where are my parents my brother and sister where is the sky again and again i threw myself against the bars and fall what did the guest do he was thinking what happened to his home where did his nest go where did his parents go how did he become, how did they catch him how did they put him in this you know bar of uh, a you know these strong bars into the cage where is the sky i am not able to see anything where did they all go and every time he tried to fly it crashed into the bars and he fell down then he heard a voice the little boy said i want you just for myself you are going to be my friend 
So what did, this, what did he say? The little boy said, you're going to be my pet. You're going to be my friend. And I want you for myself. Now the Kestrel listens to him carefully. When he brings me food, he does not tear it into small pieces. And so I cannot eat it. So usually what happens? When his parents go and catch a mice, they shred it and they feed these little birds. But now what happened? He is not, he is given food. Whenever he is given food, there is no one to tear it and put it into his mouth. So because of that, he is not able to eat his food. What happened to him? He became thin and he became very, very weak. The boy now covers my head and I feel my feet being tied. So look at how the boy bundles him up in his hands. He covers his head and he tied up the kestrel's legs together. I am carried where I can feel the wind in my feathers. So wherever he is able to go, he's, the boy takes him. He can feel the wind, he can see the sky, he can feel it in his feathers. But whenever he tries to fly, he cannot because he is tied. Then suddenly I hear a voice, a voice of a girl. Hey, stop, cries the girl. Where are you taking our window worse? She asks the boy angrily. I have heard that voice before. Who is she? Oh yes, she is a girl who visits us every day and brings us food sometimes. I try to squeak. Now what I what does the crystal say? Now after all after all these uh, troubles that he has faced, after, after all that he tried to fly but he was not able to, he suddenly hears a girl shouting at the boy, asking him where he was taking this bird. So the Kestrel wonders, yeah, I have heard this voice now. Where did I hear it? Suddenly he remembered it was the girl who used to come and see him every day and sometimes she used to bring him what did she used to bring him? Yes, she used to bring him food. So when he remembered that girl, he tried to squeak. He tried to make some loud noise so that the girl will hear him. You stole our window, cries the girl. Now look at the girl. Yeah. She is the girl who used to give this little kestrel food. Leave me alone, the boy shouts at her. So what happened? Whenever the, when the girl shouted at him, he said, you leave me alone. And he shouts at that girl. What has happened to him? He is so thin, the girl exclaims. So she says, look at the bird, what happened to him? He has become so thin. So the boy says, I want to keep him. He is mine. He shouts at the girl and he tells that he wants to keep the bird because he loves the bird and he feels that the bird is his. Oh, so the girl tells him, A wild bird can't be yours. You must put him back or he'll die, says the girl. So when she sees this little bird become so thin, she feels so sad. She shouts at the boy and she says, if you don't send him back to his cage, to his family, he is going to die. So then the boy thinks and he replies, but I don't want him to die. He becomes more soft. His voice becomes soft and kind. If you put him back, I promise not to tell anybody, says the girl. So what did the girl say? Don't kill him. 
So the boy says, yeah, I don't want to die. I don't want him to die. So then the girl says, okay, you put him back into, into his nest. I'm not going to tell anyone that you took this bird from the cage, from its nest. And after some time, this boy, he let the bird free. He let the bird go back to his home. Suddenly, I am free. I can hear the noise of the playground. Soon, I am home. My brother and sister is at me. Don't they know me? So after some time, when the boy left him, he went. He could hear the children playing in the playground. And he soon felt that he was back in his home. And when he went, his brother and sister started making noise. So he suddenly felt, huh, I'm, I'm just come back to my home. Don't they know me? So immediately he said, in the A starts kicking, he starts squeaking, he starts making a noise. I say, Kee Kee! I hear great beating wings once more. So as soon as he made squeaking noise, he, his brother and his sister, they recognized that he was their elder brother. So as soon as they heard his voice, they started to flap their wings. And later, my mother is flying down to feed me and now I am safe. So after all the trouble that he faced, he has joined back with his family. His mother and his father are come back to the nest to feed them. So now he eats proper food given by his, his parents and he lives a happy and a safe life with his family and in the, in the beautiful nature, viewing the chill breeze the beauty of the sky and the happiness that he shares with his brother, his sister, his mother and his father. And he lives safe ever after. So this story was about the window and it was written by the author Alan Brown. So students, how was the story? I guess all of you have understood. Kindly go through this lesson. Read it as many times as you can. Word by word. By placing your fingers on each and every word and lines. So happy learning children. Stay safe and stay happy. Thank you.